nice to see you again now we come to the next lesson that is lesson four we will talk about determiners so what is it they are used to introduce the noun or noun phrase we have some uh, uh, we have some of them the first is articles uh, an, and the. I hope that you have learned in chapter 3 before so you can understand how to use a uh, on or the. So I just give you the example now. The tomb of Amoji Ali was known as one of the richest and most intriguing tombs found in Peru. So the, a, uh, and the uh, here. The riches, you, because this is the superlative and then uh, Amoji Ali, so we don't know exactly which one. So this is more general and the tomb. It means that uh, this is special, the tomb of this mojie. Okay. The next is demonstrative adjective. This, that, this, and those. This and that is for singular. This and this is for plural. Actually, demonstrative adjective. Uh, there, there, uh, there is another demonstrative. Or this, that, this, and those can be used as pronoun. But uh, because we talk as we talk about determiners. To introduce the noun or to explain the noun, surely we choose the demonstrative adjective. Means that after this, that, this, and those, you have noun. Three extraordinary tombs were discovered at those cabezas. These tombs were important for unveiling the mystery of the module. So this shows that this is more than two, and this refers to this one three extraordinary tombs uh, more than one sorry and then now we come to the next possessive adjective the same we have possessive pronoun too but we use possessive adjective because it introduces the noun so we have my her his their our your and its the three men in the found tombs were considered giant due to the due to their unusual height so there refers to these three men, they're unusual. This is the noun. Okay, the next is interrogative adjective, which, whose, and what. Uh, it is called interrogative because commonly it is used to ask a question, or this is question word. Um, the archaeologists were trying to conclude which tomb was built the last. So, which refers to a kind of choice, yeah? asking about choice. And then, whose is uh, possession. And also what, but what depends on uh, what kind of noun that you want to ask. Okay, the next is distributive determiners. It's every, either, neither. So distributive determiners here, uh, especially for each and every, uh, they are interchangeable. But it emphasizes on um, the individual, what every a whole as a whole a group as uh, as a whole and then either neither is either is positive one or the other and then neither not one or the other okay its tomb contains the dead body and different offerings adjective pretty smart etc okay uh, I will later in the next lesson talk about adjective because there are more what is more form for adjective we can have the adjective in the form of word like this or it can be as uh, it can be noun as <coughs> as the adjective also function as adjective or it can be in the form of a clause so it is called adjective for us okay later i will talk uh, more on adjective it was possible that the man found in the tomb had a genetic disorder so genetic here is the adjective the next quantifiers you have many much several enough etc uh, be careful with quantifier because you can have countable and you have uncountable so for example many is for countable but much is for uncountable the man in the third tomb was likely rich and noble to do several offerings in his tomb. Several offerings, several, we use it for countables. That's why when it is for countable, remember that the form must be in plural. 
Okay, the next is numbers, cardinal and ordinal number. Cardinal number is like one, two, three, etc. And then ordinal is the first, third, and etc. In the third tomb, there were also a young woman, the head of Ilama, and copper figurine in textile bundle. Okay, this is the ordinal number. Okay, we still have predeterminers. We have multipliers, double, twice, three times. Multipliers is uh, used to multiply in quantity. So the grave goods in tomb, uh, sorry, the grave goods in tomb two had several times the value. It could show the power of the buried man nearby. So several times the value. The value is multiplied several times. And then fraction. Fraction is almost uh, or similar to multipliers but uh, this is dividing it. Multiply is multiplying the quantity but fraction dividing it. Of here is optional. Okay. One third of headdresses the men in tomb to head were made in a style which wasn't found in other sites of margin. So one third of headdresses. Okay. And then the next is intensifier. We have what? Shots, quiet, rather. The ornate sculptures of clay, copper, and gold rested in tomb to show such as great artwork of the ancient artists. We have such a great, such to and to intensify how great the artwork is. Okay, the next is put and R. Uh, you can also use of. This is optional. Both archaeologists discussed when they would excavate the third tomb. Okay, those are the um, determiners that uh, are used in introducing noun and or noun phrase. But how about having exercise? Okay, it's important. State whether each sentence is correct or incorrect. That the man had 18 headdresses raised a question whether he wore a different hat for every ceremony seems that it is correct oh no it is incorrect this one every okay um as i told you before that every uh, refers to or emphasize on the whole uh a, the, a group as a whole but it is uh individual that's why this is each ceremony, so the individual ceremony, while um, it is not all of the ceremony, but each ceremony. We want to emphasize each, yeah, we want to emphasize the individual of the ceremony. Okay, the next is some major lords were found holding gold and silver in guts. So, which one? Oh, yeah, incorrect. Which one? This one. Lord. Because that is the word samir and were of course and this is countable you need s remember that the third unusual tombs intrigue the archaeologists to learn more on their mystery oh still incorrect yes this one third uh, this is ordinal number you can see this actually we can use um ordinal number with a plural one yeah but usually it is like this, the first 10 people, the first 10 students, uh, that is a cardinal number. To show that uh, there are 10, but they, uh, they are the first. But if it is like this, so you can use uh, the pronoun, um, sorry, the noun is in plural, and also this is in plural. Uh, so the meaning is three unusual terms. And then you can see here for there, so it is not only one. Yeah, if we use the third unusual terms, it means that it's only one at the first, the second, and the third. So this is only the third, this why you know, this only one. So you can see here, their mystery, that's why it should be the three. The number of the tombs are three. Okay, the next is, neither tomb gives the clue about the mystery of who the two men in both tombs were. Do you think it is wrong? No, it's correct neither tombs there are two tombs and then 
not one of them gives the clue. Okay. Major artist depicted the crested beast in the curve of a crescent moon. This sculpture is made of copper. Mm, correct, yes. Okay. Continue. Mojo artist with his extraordinary skill used a figure to capture human expression. Mm, which one? Yeah, incorrect. Which one? This one, of course. You see, Mojo artist. When you talk about pronoun, it must refer to the noun or the sentence before. So, we have Mojo artists. This is more than one. That's why we have there. Okay, the next is archaeologist had doubled the efforts to reveal the mystery of the three unusual tombs. So, archaeologist had doubled the effort. So, double here. Yeah. This one. Is it correct? Yes, of course. The man's funeral mask is the finest among the Greek goods they found. <sighs> is it incorrect? It seems that it is correct. Of course not. We relate to the adjective. Funeral is noun. It should be adjective. Funerary. Okay. Next. What they found in tombs too was quiet an amazing discovery which can reveal the mystery of the ancient culture. Mm, okay, correct. Good. It seems that you understand now. Okay, the last. All of archaeologists agree that every excavation can lead them to the civilization. What culture was probably much higher than it is now. Mm. Yes, incorrect. Uh, it seems that it is correct, but as I told you here, be careful with the meaning, whether it is what or which or whose. In this case, we have whose because you have this culture. Culture, it is the possession or it is possessed by, the, by this civilization. So this civilization has the kind of that kind of culture. That's why it is possessive. So you must use whose. Um, in this case, we don't use whose. Um, what I mean, uh, interrogative adjective as the question, but it is as the what is it? The conjunction um, or the conjunction for adjective clause or the relative pronoun for adjective clause. Okay, I think. And I hope you can understand about how you find the determiners or how you use the determiners to explain or to introduce now. These are the exercises. I hope that if you still don't understand, you can come to my website. Okay, everyone. Thank you for learning with me. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.